Welcome back to our Chem 151 video series. In this video, we'll be solving a problem that uses the standard enthalpy of reaction to find how much heat is released during a reaction. Here we give you the reaction CH4 plus 2 oxygen yields CO2 plus 2 water. We are also giving you the standard enthalpy is negative 891 kilojoules per mole in the first line. Then the question says, if we react 100 liters of oxygen at one atmosphere and 295 Kelvin, how much heat will be released? Notice we are given a volume, which is 100 liters, a pressure, which is one atmosphere, and a temperature, which is 295 Kelvin. If we are given volume, pressure, and temperature, that's a good clue that we need the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law says P times V is equal to N times R times T. Let's write down what we know. We know the volume is 100 liters. Those are the correct units for volume, so we don't need to make any adjustments here. The pressure is 1 atmosphere, which is the correct units for pressure. The temperature is 295 Kelvin, also the correct units for temperature. And the R value is 0 0.0821 liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin. That means we know P, we know V, we know R, and we know T. And we need to get moles because that's our only unknown. If we divide both sides of the equation by RT, our new equation will look like this. N equals PV divided by RT. Since we know all of the letters, let's place them in the correct positions. Pressure was one atmosphere. Volume was 100 liters. R is 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And temperature is 295. We can place all of these into a calculator at this point. We will end up with 4.13 moles. These will be our moles of oxygen. Now that we know the moles of oxygen, we can find how much heat is going to be released. To find the heat change if we're given the standard enthalpy, we can say Q is equal to our moles divided by our coefficient times our standard enthalpy. That's the delta H naught. In the first line, we are given the standard enthalpy is negative 891 kilojoules per mole. We can also see the coefficient in front of oxygen, which is our substance, is going to be 2. We'll write that down as well. Therefore, we can place the numbers in the correct positions. Our n is 4.13. That came from the previous step. Our coefficient is 2, multiplied by the standard enthalpy, which is negative 891 kilojoules per mole. We'll point out that the 4.13 is also in moles. So when we multiply the N, which is in moles, times the standard enthalpy, which is also in moles, on the bottom, the moles will cancel, and then we'll be left with just kilojoules. If we do the multiplication, we will get negative 1840 kilojoules. Since this answer is negative, negative stands for energy being released. If it was positive, the energy would be absorbed instead. That tells us that doing this reaction with 100 liters of oxygen will release 1840 kilojoules. Be careful about this because in some questions, if they say they want the amount released, putting a negative on this answer would actually be counted incorrect even though all the math is right. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you again soon.